Guess what time it is? Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Jen. Today we are unboxing the April edition of the Jane's Agenda Deluxe Sub Box. And I am excited as always, as always. I say it every month. If you're not familiar, Jane's Agenda is a planner company and they have a monthly subscription box. It actually comes in three versions. There is the monthly cover club, there is the lifestyle subscription box, and then the deluxe box, which is what I have right here, includes all of those things. The box uh, comes in a variety of disc bound and ring sizes, but I receive my box in the junior size, which fits a disc bound half letter. I do want to tell you that I am an affiliate for Jane's Agenda. So my affiliate link is down in the description box. If you shop that link, I will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart anytime you do that. I did purchase this box with my own money because I love it. <laughs> so like always, I have already unwrapped all the items in the box so that we can just get into all the beautiful goodies. So without further ado, let's do it. So first up, we get our thank you card, which honestly is one of my favorite items always in this box. This one is very, very pretty. It has a beautiful uh, fountain with an archway of flowers above it. And it says April, 2024. There is also a QR code to get your free wallpapers, which I always forget about you guys. Don't be like me. <laughs> Don't be like me, get your free wallpapers. You get one for your phone, one for your computer, and they're always beautiful and match the theme of the box. But um, yes, gorgeous. I love putting these in my agenda cover. Next, we get some journaling cards. Love the journaling cards. These also usually end up somewhere in my planner. And we have a few of them. So this one says, Outer Order contributes to Inner Calm, Gretchen Rubin, and yes, yes it does. <laughs> and th the reason I think for this quote is that we have a spring cleaning theme to this box. So that is very cool. I'm gonna put that there. And then we have this one, which I really love. It says, I am not a minimalist. I love stuff, but I also love simplicity. If I don't need something, I don't have it. Oprah Winfrey. So very nice, a nice pale blue. And then we have this one that says color coding key. And I think this goes along perhaps with something that is upcoming in this box. So we will put that to the side for now. Next, I love this sticky notepad. So this, oops, I have it upside down. This is a sticky notepad. I love sticky notes, period, but I love big sticky notes like this. And I love that they're lined. And yeah, and so it's a nice size pad. And I'm not sure if I will keep this in my planner or keep it on my desk, but it's really, really pretty and I do love it. And it's paper. Uh, now I shouldn't have removed the backing from this if it had one, actually, I don't know. I'm just gonna put it against here so you can see it better. So these are clear stickers and they have all different kinds of headings. So this is sticker sheet cleaning my room. So my guess is that these are gonna go with the inserts. We've got several inserts this go around, so they must go with some of the inserts. And it says some different headings like guest bathroom, primary bathroom, extra bedroom, uh, closet, dining room, family room. So. I'm assuming these are gonna come in quite handy. I'm gonna put those aside with the color coding journaling card. Then we got washi and it's in a cute little box. So loving the new Jane's Agenda branding or packaging. I had bought discs recently and they were in a similar kind of box. So very, very pretty. And 
let's see what we've got. We've got four different spring color washi. I love skinny washi. And looks like you get a good amount in there, which is really nice. So we have yellow, pink, blue, and green. And I'm noticing they match the colors on this color coding journaling card. So that is interesting. Should we swatch them? Um, I'm just gonna swatch them here. Let's see. Oh, you guys, I love my Impress Manicure nails. I am an affiliate for Impress Manicure as well. These ones, they're so cute, but they are starting to look a bit beat up because I've been wearing them for a long time. I did get questions on them on my last video, so I'll try to remember to link the particular nails for you, although um, my general link is always down in the description box, uh, but they are not the best for getting the edge of these washies, but now I think I'm getting the hang of it. So these are pretty starting to feel the spring vibes i live in new england and it's we had this one week that was incredible it was just so beautiful and now it's been cold i've been wearing my winter coat again to work um how's the weather where you live do you live somewhere where you get the seasons um it's a mixed bag i have to admit winter is not my favorite um fall and summer are my favorites but spring is lovely as well it's just that here sometimes spring can come with a lot of yucky weather but there we go there's our washies okay so now we have a functional dashboard set so lately i say lately but for several months now we have been getting some functional dashboards sometimes they're standalone dashboards like these which is my preference sometimes they are the backs of the dashboards that we might get that are decorative and these ones of course are cleaning themed so this is really cool this is an april 2024 30 days to a cleaner house now um I'll be honest, I probably won't do this on a daily basis the way it's mapped out here just because uh, my life has been wildly hectic lately, but um, I love the idea of this and I'll probably do it as I can. I actually uh, just decluttered my medicine cabinet, so that one I could check off already and I probably won't check them off so that I can reuse these. I'll probably mark it with like a sticker or something like that that maybe I could pull back off like a page flag or something like that then this one says spring readiness and it says the spring readiness cardstock includes a list of tasks that are essential for the spring season and so some of the examples are garden and lawn preparation outdoor furniture setup home exterior check uh, update home decor so these are always nice reminders that we get on these and then this one <laughs> I love this idea. Clean up champion, the unexpected visitor prep list. <laughs> and so basically a list of ideas of how you could whip your house into shape real quick if you knew that unexpected guests were coming. And so love some of these ideas. And the one that cracks me up is dish disposal if there are any dishes out quickly rinse them and put them in the dishwasher or hide them in the oven if you're in a pinch just don't forget about them later and that's real life folks that's real life <laughs> yeah my problem is that i'm terrible about emptying the dishwasher like i just empty it when i'm gonna fill it <laughs> So, so just uh, quickly loading the dishwasher probably wouldn't happen for me, but it's a work in progress. It's tough, guys. And now one of my very favorite things are decorative dashboards, and these are so pretty. <clears throat> so first of all, we have this beautiful vellum with white print. It says garden. 
and it has some uh, like vines. Really beautiful. Love the vellums. Jane's Agenda vellums are so nice. They're like, they are transparent, but they're also like a little bit substantial. Like they're just, they're very nice. And then look at this cardstock. This is beautiful. So beautiful. It's not funny. And um, it's a swing. And I want to be on this swing. Like I'd like to know where this is. And I would like to hang out there. <laughs> so, but yeah. And then look at this one. This is my favorite. When I saw this, I was like, what? I love this one. This is so beautiful. So this is what I mean. Like when I see a dashboard like this and I just fall in love, I know I'm going to use it over and over. And I have lots of Jane's Agenda dashboards because... I discovered Jane's Agenda and bought their items for quite some time before I was ever subscribed. And that was what I mostly bought was dashboards because I just, it's so fun refreshing your planner. Just so fun. Beautiful. Oh, and then let me keep um, one of these dashboards here. We got this, which is a bottom tab, frosted bottom tab. So like kind of like the same idea as a top tab divider like that, which I guess if you didn't mind that the words are backwards, you could still use it as a top tab. But instead, whoops, it's the bottom. And I have to be honest in saying I don't usually do bottom tabs. I do love top tabs. But because of the way I've had my planner set up recently, I've had a lot of top tabs. And I was kind of thinking I would like to try a bottom tab for basically like my daily page because that way I could find that really fast because that's what I turn to the most often in my planner. So I think I might use this for this and it looks really pretty over this dashboard too. So very cool. And this brings us to our inserts. We received two sets of inserts this month. So let me, I want to look first at these weekly number 28s. So if they have a number, most likely these are coming to the shop. We often get previews of inserts that are coming. So weekly number 28, weekly cleaning routine. So let's see what these are all about. Oh, <laughs> I love this. So Jane had mentioned in one of the lives that she gave an example in here. So Jane's magic cleaning routine. Oh, AM. Empty the dishwasher so you're ready for dirty dishes during the day. Move the laundry to the dryer. Wipe down the counter in the primary bathroom and make the bed. And then PM, finish loading and run the dishwasher. Waking up to a clean sink is so nice. Put the load of laundry away. Uh, an empty laundry basket will be ready for tomorrow. Start a new load of laundry in the washing machine and wipe down the kitchen counters and stovetop. So for myself, I do not have any time for cleaning in the morning, at least not on work days. I already wake up at like 4 a.m. because I have all kinds of other tasks I have to do too. I have two small children and I have to do the majority of things. They have, they are, you know, semi-independent at this point, but there's a lot for me to do in the morning. So cleaning does not happen in the morning. I mean, other than like putting the dirty dishes in the sink and, you know, stuff like that, but like cleaning, cleaning does not happen in the morning. But let's look at these inserts. So we have I really think these are cool. So we have a weekly cleaning schedule. So I love that you can kind of customize this from week to week. And we have like a habit tracker style up here. This is morning cleaning routine. But I think if I end up putting these into my planner and we have an evening cleaning routine habit tracker down here, but I think I would probably just maybe change the heading to daily or just maybe not care that it says morning and use it for the things that I do do on a daily basis. But yeah, these are cool. So you have Monday through Sunday, and then you have this week here, and we have little check boxes and lines. And I'm assuming you probably get about a month in here, which is very cool. So these are really nice.
Okay, and then we got zone cleaning planner inserts. So I have to be honest in telling you that, well, I've certainly heard of zone cleaning. I'm not overly familiar with the system, but I, I am intrigued to learn more. But basically it says cleaning by zone and then you have different rooms. So this one says foyer. This one says family room, living room. This one says dining room. Um, and they are the same on each side, which I found kind of interesting, but, but maybe that's what, you know, like I said, I don't know the system very well. Laundry room, primary bedroom. So yeah, so a lot of inserts all covering different rooms in your house. And of course, some of these may not apply. Like, you know, I don't have a foyer, <laughs> but that's okay. But so anyway, on this particular one, it says, clean cobwebs dust light fixtures um dust any dust any furniture wipe smudges off light switch vacuum applicable furniture so these are cool as well so yeah this box jam-packed full of goodies because we're not even done we have one more item for the lifestyle box and then we'll get into the monthly cover club so the last item I'll show you from the lifestyle box is this beautiful pen pouch. So this pen pouch is like the same shape like we've gotten quite a few, such as um, this beautiful blush one is one of my favorites. We got a really nice black one and it has the janesagenda.com there in Boston has a little pull tab. This one has the champagne gold um, zipper to match the new champagne gold discs, which I did get and are stunning. And let's look inside. So they said they got a custom lining this go around. So we'll pull that out. Oh yeah, sexy. <laughs> Very pretty. It says Jane's agenda. And we have kind of a fishnet pattern. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. Really pretty, really pretty. And matches the shell cover. So uh, that was my big splurge. Um, I, bought, I bought this shell cover and the discs. I'll link that video for you if you'd like to see the unboxing of that and see those discs. Um, that was an early access for subscribers and then eventually they were released to everybody but i pounced on them <laughs> and um very beautiful very beautiful all right so now let's look at the monthly cover club first up a page finder really pretty so these clear items do have a backing um, so this one's already started to roll down, so I'll be able to get it off. So I'll show you. Um, it does help sometimes if you pull it from the side that doesn't have the punches first so that you don't get little pieces stuck in the punches. Though so this one came off quite easily. There is no backing on this side, so don't try to uh, pull the etching off of here. Well, this one feels cool. <laughs> um, so this is really pretty. Then we got our card stock. So I have to say that um, all the items here, they are so much prettier in person. Like not that they didn't look pretty online, but when seeing them in person, I'm like, wow, this is so pretty. It says live simply, bloom wildly. And we have kind of a soft teal kind of color, um, really soft colors. And there's your back. And I love the inside. I love this stripe pattern. It's beautiful. So I really like that. And now let's look at the cover. So I will mention if you get rings or if you get half letter unpunched, instead of a cover, you get dashboards. But look at this. Beautiful, right? So pretty so so pretty i don't know if i'm going to be able to get the coating off with my impressed manicure but oh it looks like i am going to be able to okay so let me pull it it off so nice so you can see how crystal clear so see it can get a little caught 
around the punches. You just have to take your time. And I'm not doing a <laughs> very good example of taking my time. Okay, there we go. Look how beautiful. I am loving these clear, clear covers. So, you know, the the covers that Jane's Agenda makes in-house are usually a laminated vellum so you kind of get more of a like frosted look and they're very pretty but I am loving the clear I really really loved the cover we got in the January box it was so pretty but this is very pretty too um, so now, like we do, I want to look at the cover with all the different dashboards that we received. So I'm just going to move this over for a moment. So first, let's look at it with the cardstock it was designed to go with. And I like to try to line up the punches so you get a good look at what it would look like. Um, so that is that. Oh, that is pretty. That is very pretty. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'll also show you what it would look like if you you well actually let's turn it around. Well, first of all, oh my goodness, you guys. I'm getting ahead of myself. So here's what it would look like with the stripes, which I actually really love that too. Very pretty. Um, and then let's look at what would it look like if we turned the back cover upside down. That's what I did this month because I really liked it. Well, that's cute as well. I don't know if I like it as much, but that's cute. And if you want to see what the back looks like, although I did not pull the uh, coating off, but that's what the back would look like, I guess, really this way. So very pretty. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so pretty. Okay. So let's grab our other dashboards now. Hmm. So I don't know if the vellum would work, but I'm curious. I'm curious. So what I'm curious about, actually, is would this work over this? subtle but cute you can't see the words that well over this white so I don't know about that all right now let's look I don't know that this one because the colorway is a bit different I don't know if it works um it's not actually it's not terrible but I'm not sure I like that as much I feel like the swing picture is a little it's pulling more like oranges, yellows. So it's not bad or anything. I just don't know if I prefer that. But man, am I excited to use this dashboard in my planner. And then dun da da da, my favorite. Hmm, pretty too. Oh, it's going to be hard, you guys. It's going to be hard to decide. It always is. <laughs> Have you watched any of my half letter planner setups? The ones I do in real time, like they're long because I go back and forth, I go back and forth, I switch things, I change things, but I love it. That is the fun, the fun, the fun, the fun of it. I mean, if I didn't feel like doing it, I wouldn't do it. I do it for joy, only for joy. And then of course I use my planner because it's a tool and for organization, but the beauty, the beauty makes me happy. And this box is full of beauty. All right, guys, that is the April edition of the Jane's Agenda Deluxe Sub Box. Let me know what you think. I think it's so pretty, so pretty. I really love it. Can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. So comment below. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying my content, it would mean so, so much to me if you would subscribe. I am closer than I've ever been to a thousand subscribers. So if you would choose to subscribe to my channel, 
that would mean the world to me. So thank you so, so much. If you would like to see my latest video, I will link it for you here. And if you'd like to see my Jane's Agenda unboxing playlist, I will link it for you here. And that is going to do it for this one, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.